This video explains how to find differences between two columns of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in the second code box. So in the first lines of code, I'm using the data frame constructor to construct an example data frame, which is called data. And then I'm using the print function to print this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing below the code box, which contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to compare the columns x1 and x3 and that we want to find differences between these columns. Then we could use the equals function as you can see in the first example. And within the equals function, we need to specify the second column that we want to use. And we are comparing the column x3 in this case with the column x1. So for that reason, we need to subset the column x1 in the first part of this code. And then I'm also using the print function to print the output of the code that you can see in the third code box. So as you can see, the logical indicator false is returned below this code box, which tells us that the columns x1 and x3 are not equal. So there must be differences between these two columns. And in the following code, I will show you how to find these differences. So in the next step, I'm using the equal sign operator to check which of the values are exactly the same in the same row in the columns x1 and x3. So after running this line of code, another output is returned, which returns a logical indicator for each of the rows in our data set. And this output shows us which of the values are the same in a row for the columns x1 and x3. So for instance, in the first row of our data frame, the values are the same. So as you can see by having a look at the output of our data frame above, the values in the first row are one and one in both of the columns. In the second row, for instance, the logical indicator false is returned because these two values are different because in the column x1 the value is 3 and in the column x3 the value is 2. And you can see that for all the rows in our data set, so as you can see only the row at the index position 0 and at the index position 3 is equal to each other. We can also check which of the values in the first column x1 are also existing in the column x3 without taking the row ordering into account. So for this task, we can use the isIn function and we need to apply this function to our second column x3 and we need to subset the column x1 at the beginning of the code as we already did in the first example of this tutorial. And then below this line of code, you can see another output, which shows a logical indicator true or false for each of the rows of our data set. And as you can see, only the value at the fourth index position of our data set in the column x1 is not existing in the column x3. So as you can see by having another look at the output of our data frame, the value 7 is not existing in the column x3. However, all the other values are existing in this column. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel 
and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.